Dr. Paul, our next uh, guest coming yeah. up, I understand you you know them personally yeah. and they have quite a story. Yeah, Kent and Amber Brantley are good friends of ours and we've known them for years, but um, they're missionaries now at Mukingi Mission Hospital in Zambia where I spend a lot of time. But you might remember Kent. Kent contracted uh, the Ebola virus in uh, Liberia and he was on the front page of Time Magazine and you might have seen that just graphic footage of him being delivered from, by ambulance from Liberia to Emory Hospital in Atlanta. But anyway, he's just a, a good man doing great work there in, in Zambia and I have the utmost respect for Kent and Amber and I'm so glad that they were able to just provide a three minute uh, testimony uh, uh, that shares a little bit of their story. really started with each of us being called by God to a life of service and missions through various experiences in our lives and mentors that we had. Um, in fact, we met on a mission trip to Honduras while we were both in college. And from the very beginning of our marriage, we shared a calling together to serve the Lord and to serve people in a tangible way uh, to participate in the coming of God's kingdom on this earth. That required making some really hard decisions during medical school and residency. It's a long road of education with a lot of opportunities for distractions and pitfalls. And so we had to choose intentionally to live simply, to avoid accumulating debt. And, and we took advantage of opportunities uh, that were presented to us to, to do international rotations and to keep kindling that fire uh, that, that God had ignited in both of us so long ago. Besides nursing school and medical school and residency, we invested in training elsewhere. We took Bible classes and missions courses. We took discipleship training and stayed plugged in and seriously involved in our local church. And I think that helped form us into more well-rounded human beings. So when I finished residency, we, we learned about the Samaritan's Purse post-residency program. And that seemed like a great way for us to get started. And so we, we applied and were accepted and signed on and were given an assignment in Liberia. And so we set out, finally, after years and years of preparation, we set out to live those lives of simple service that God had called us to. And absolutely nothing has gone as we expected it to since then. Um, that attempt, our, our effort to live faithfully, um, created unique opportunities for us to give our testimony and to give uh, a voice to the voiceless to speak up for those who were suffering before presidents and heads of state and Congress and, and numerous groups of people from, from medical conferences to churches to high schools. And even, even then, our calling was the same. Our calling was to live lives of humble service and to participate in God's kingdom on this earth. And after, after five years of being back in Texas and working in a hospital, teaching in a residency program, uh, God presented us with an opportunity to return overseas. And so we, we took the next step and the next step. And about one year ago, we moved overseas to Mukingi Mission Hospital in Zambia with Christian Health Service Corps. And so for the last nine or 10 months, uh, I've been working in the hospital. We've been creating a home here and learning to love and serve the people of Northwestern Zambia. And we are, we are so thankful to God for his faithfulness in carrying us through in the calling he's given us.